what the heck happened to Halloween? It blew by this year. All of a sudden it was Halloween and I was not prepared and, and I'm still not over it. For me, Halloween just really flew by this year. I didn't get the chance to do any of my Halloween projects that I had planned, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So what I have planned is I'm still going to use the Halloween fabric print that I bought in hopes of being in time. So I'm gonna make two outfits. One will be a shorts, and then I have an idea to make overalls, which I've never made overalls before, and I don't have a pattern for it. But I do have a palazzo pants pattern that I have confidence of making overalls and they'll be really simple. Let's hope. Before I show you the fabric, please like and subscribe. It really does a lot for my channel and I have so many sewing projects planned that are in vintage style and I'd like for you to join me. Let's get started. For the shorts, I'm going to use this muted gray spider webs print and it has spiders all around it. It's really cool. And for the shorts, I'm going to use the Simplicity 8932. Anytime I want to make shorts, I use this pattern. I've had trouble before finding a good pattern because it's always like too low on the crotch seam and it doesn't look good. So this pattern really does fit me well and I recommend you finding a good pair of shorts pattern and just keep using it. I'm sewing in all of my darts from the front and back of the shorts and I'm doing something a little different. Instead of reversing the seam to tie off the dart, I'm tying a knot and I felt like this is a cleaner finish for my darts. You can also use a smaller stitch length to finish off your dart, but this works as well. I finished off my darts and I pin together both of the front pieces and you want to sew the inner crotch length. Um, not, I don't like saying crotch the inner seam, I, we're going to call it the inner seam. <laughs> and you're going to do that for the front and back. This might look like I was so done with this project that I was going to tear it up, but I'm making notches around the inner seam and that helps with the tension of the fabric and this adds like mobility when you walk. This is actually my box where I keep my buttons and it has a squishy top so I always use it when I don't feel like taking out my big ironing board. So you want to press all your darts and inner seams. Give them all a really good press and then you're going to combine both the front and back pieces to the side, make sure you match up the notches that are on the side when you combine them. So you pin together both the sides and the inner crotch seam at the bottom. Yep, that part. I like to pin as much as I can, so when I take it to the sewing machine, I could just keep sewing. It's kind of tedious to sew and then stop and start pinning and then sew again. So if you do it all together, it makes it a lot easier. So again, you want to sew at the size and that inner seam. And this is the back where I would put the zipper. I added some bias tape to add some structure to the zipper. I sew as close as I can to the zipper teeth along the bias tape so I have no seams visible in the back. I hand embroidered my own dame label, but looking at it now, I can't really tell what it says. <laughs> Maybe it was a bad idea. I sewed the waistband to the top of the shorts and here I'm just folding down the inner waistband so I could pin it and top stitch it down on the machine. And now we're going to play a little game. Can you see where I messed up? The label is on the outside. What? <laughs> my brain just went in the trash. <laughs> I had to remove it with my seam ripper and put it in the correct side would be the inside of the shorts. Here I'm top stitching down the waistband and voila, the label was in its correct spot. Last thing to do was hem the shorts, but did you forget we have another project to do? I fell in love with this Halloween print. It has everything, a hearse, jack-o'-lanterns, ghosts, trick-or-treaters, a witch, a haunted house, mummies, cemetery, and this little guy's my favorite. This little snake with a spider web in the bag. <laughs> so cute. So we're going to use this Simplicity 1940s pattern, Simplicity 4757. And back then they didn't have wording on their pattern. And all of the markings on the pattern is super important. Like for example, 
they'll have a B for back of the pants and these little circles are for the markings for the pleats. So you just have to take your time and read the instructions and make sure you mark them. So I did that for the pleats and I'm sewing in the inner seam. So from here I have, oops, from here I have both of the inner crotch seams pinned on both the front and back of the pants. So I'm gonna sew that up and I'm still kind of debating whether I should do a back seam or maybe I can't because it's gonna be overall so that's gonna be a lap in the back. I'm, I'm glad we're talking this out because it's really helpful. <laughs> Honestly, pants and short is a really quick project. If I really wanted to, I could get these done in a day. You know, if you have like eight hours to finish it. <laughs> I don't understand one hour makes. It is never an hour. Also, I want to say that there's no like fashion police going to tell you that you shouldn't be wearing something. Like if you love it and it's, you know, what you want to wear, then friggin' go for it. What I admire most about what I people's fashion that I admire the most is it doesn't waver with trends. Like you have a specific style and that's it, you're unapologetic about it, and I love that. I did add a pocket to one of the sides of the pants, and Future Me wishes I made the pocket deeper, but it's enough to fit my hand in there. And I made a general shape for the top of the overalls. I kind of just winged it for both the front and the back. Of the overalls and I added black lining because I was running out of the print fabric and I added some cuts before I turned it inside out so I have the back pinned down just for placement and see look this is the front and what I'm gonna do from here is I'm going to top stitch it down so it lays flat maybe do like a decorative stitch on the top I don't know we'll see if if I feel like doing that. And then here, I'm gonna do a top stitch on the very tip of the waistband, so this will lay flat. And then the inner, um, where I have it pinned, I'm going to fold it like so, and then just whip stitch it, and then it won't be visible on the front side. Here's the first look of it on my dress form. Um, I didn't like how this was a little too high and so I just folded it down and I kind of like it better at this side. I'm, I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> um, so I just need to add some straps and then I don't have the little metal thing that you fold and um, you know so the straps can be adjustable but I'm going to add a strap here and in the front and then I'm gonna tie it um up here by the shoulders for a bow on both sides this is almost done it's looking really cool i wish i wore it during halloween but am i just early for next halloween i think so that's how i'm gonna look at it i'm just extremely early <laughs> i made some straps and i gave them a press and i added to the top of our overalls and I had this idea to add these lavender buttons to the straps so it would kind of look like they're adjustable but they're really not. Here I was whip stitching any raw edges that were inside of the overalls. As I've progressed in my sewing journey, the inner seams have become just as important to look clean and finished just like the front and it really does make a difference and it makes your project look more professional. I hand stitched down the side button holes and this was so surprising. How I managed to do that was a happy accident. Now for the two project outfit reveals. I love how the shorts turned out. I paired it with a white billowy sleeve sheer blouse and you could barely tell that they're spiderwebs but when you look close you could tell this girl loves Halloween. And I love how the overalls turned out. It was so comfortable. And I only hate that it's a little low on the crotch, but other than that, it is really, really comfortable. Here are the side butt enclosures. And I pretended I was in a Halloween patch and taking pictures with a cute pumpkin. This outfit had me running around, doing kicks and exercises. It was one of my first like really roomy project and I love it. I'm all about the spooky vibes and look who's early for next year. Thank you guys for watching. See you the next one. Bye!